the big couple of things have been the Netoclax plus obinutuzumab, a uh, phase three trial that was presented at ASCO and now is also going to be presented here in Europe um, uh, in um, frontline setting of older or frailer patients. Uh, this has led to FDA approval of the Netoclax plus uh, obinutuzumab in the frontline setting. I think across the board, although the study was in older, frailer patients or with some comorbidity, uh, I think it's a great option that's been added because uh, uh, other novel agents other than ibrutinib did not have frontline approval yet. Um, and uh, ibrutinib, as you know, single agent is sort of a lifelong indefinite treatment, whereas venetoclax plus obinutuzumab gives the option of uh, starting with a treatment and telling patients okay, we're going to stop in a year or two years or whatever and, and see what happens. Uh, so it's finite therapy, which is more attractive to especially the younger patients with CLL. So that's one good thing. The other good thing is the Transcend CLL study that I presented. We just talked about the CAR T cells. Um, and then there's a lot of other combinations. I mean, combinations are big now in, in CLL because uh, all the monotherapy data is already out there. So now every possible combination is being done to see which will do better than others. So ibrutinib plus venetoclax, uh, updated results are pending, et cetera. So uh, I think there's a lot of exciting stuff in CLL. And every six months or so, the paradigm changes, there's an update, and we'll see what happens by the end of this year.